And I'm seeing this lovely lady here um, looking at me. So, such a beautiful spirit, lovely voice. <laughs> and this is um, Miss Paula, Mrs. Paula Bradshaw. And I mean, I'm walking with this woman and, and in town, and people are just calling to her students all about. I'm like, who do you know all these people? <laughs> <laughs> Paula, can you t tell us about yourself and what um, and what your you know what constituency you are um, candidate for? I am the representative for St. Joseph. I hail from St. John, but um, St. Joseph is just next door. My dad used to teach in St. Joseph. We were always down there. Uh, we have family down there, and um, just going down there every day it has been such a blessing first of all the the parish is so beautiful it mm -hmm. is breathtaking it is absolutely breathtaking it is lush it is beautiful and the people the people are so warm they're so sweet they're so giving even the ones that tell you don't bother to come <laughs> we have voted for winner <laughs> but they say, but I wish you all the best, though. Take care. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> the people are absolutely wonderful. I mean, I don't think I managed to take all the things out of my car. You're driving through, and you just stop to say hello to somebody, and they go, Don't move, don't move. Again, I bring some bananas. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Bananas, they bring in bananas, papasa, or salt, because that's how we country people are. When people come by us, we like them to leave with something sustainable right. living. It is about returning to each one, having their own little kitchen garden. Mm -hmm. And I have chives over by me, and you got fine time over by you, and we exchange. That is what we have to get back to. But we also need to get out of this mindset where we have to find jobs for people as many people have said here tonight and we teach them how to make fashion as you said marcia yes. what's your skill what do you have in your hand what yes. are you good at because there are certain things that we always need no matter how hard pressed we are you know we Bajans don't like to look in scruffy so we can always want a little haircut we can <laughs> you understand so if there's no barber shop within five miles and that that is something you're gifted at okay, let's see how we can monetize that. So yeah. getting away from the finder job and getting to create an income, create a sustainable income. That is where we are pushing people. Get back mm -hmm. to the land, grow what you eat and eat what you grow. Yeah. Get back to sustainability. As everyone here has said, we cannot maintain the madness that is going on right now. This trajectory leads nowhere but to destruction. Mm -hmm. And we have to turn it right around mm -hmm. and get back to sustainability, practical mm -hmm. things, as Sean said, that just make sense. Mm -hmm. And there are so many Barbadians out there in Barbados and living abroad with wonderful ideas, brilliant ideas. There are farmers who have tried different things that work better, different systems, different strategies. And just by trial and error, they have discovered things that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not just in farming, it's not just in agriculture, it's in every sector where there are ordinary people who by trial and error and, and their God-given brilliance have figured out better ways to do things and we are not asking them. We're not including them in the process. So we have to return to democracy in its purest form and truly, truly, truly include everyone, include those who have really witty intentions that we never even consider, things that are going to save us money, things that are going to earn us money, things that are going to put us on the global map, but for the right reasons. And don't get me wrong, I, <laughs> I went to school with our prime minister and from the time she landed in the school at age 11, we knew that she was going to be a leader. We could see that natural um intellectual curiosity mm -hmm. we could see all of those things so i am not one who is here to bash our leader she is an extremely intelligent lady mm -hmm. 
But I'm saying that we have to start doing things different to what happens after the 19th. I will be looking to provide help. I will be looking to be down in St. Joseph all the time and, mm -hmm. and really bringing solutions. Wow. Because it wow. broke my heart to see the conditions that our people are living in. How mm -hmm. in 2022 do people have to go down a steep, um, wet, slippery incline to get a shower at, at, a, at, at a pipe or, or to go to the bathroom? It, oh, look, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. So mm -hmm. these people need help and they need it now.